you pass me my phone? I've forgotten. Yeah. I skipped something in the beginning. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be about uh, my hair. I'm wearing crochet braids. Um, and about four weeks ago when I posted uh, myself doing this hair, so many of you were asking where I got the hair from, what kind of hair is it, and um, how many packs I used, what colors I used. So I decided I'm gonna do a video and should answer all your questions. And it's been about four weeks that I've had this hair in, so I'm quite, I'm quite, I've learned it quite a bit. So if you want to know more about this hair and where I got it and how I've managed to maintain it, then stay tuned. So I got this hair from Super Cosmetics, uh, Super Cosmetics in town. This time I went to town. Usually I go to the Westlands branch, but I found this in town. It's the uh, Bohemian Bulk by Impression. The company I think is called Impression. Normally I use um, free dress hair, free dress hair, the bulk hair for crochet, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so I decided let me try this. I was a bit skeptical, but so far I've had it for four weeks and I've found it holding up quite well. It's it doesn't tangle as much as people say it does. Um, so I literally I used two packs of hair, number two, the number two and the number thirty-three. So the number thirty-three is the brownish bits you can see and the black is number two which is a bit like more natural um, I did black at the back most of it and then mixed um, a lot of brown at the front so that I could have yeah the highlights at the front so what um, what I learned about this hair is that it doesn't tangle as much as people say um, especially if you leave the hair alone it does not tangle as much as people say the only issue I have is the frizziness which is a bit of a problem so you have to keep snipping off ends as you go along just to make sure your hair doesn't look a bit too matty and you know just nappy so um, that's what I used to do every morning I would snip off ends that are looking funny and yeah I just leave the hair alone during the day I use shea butter on the hair because it's thick and it kind of gave it a really nice shine but if you don't want to waste your product on on synthetic hair then you can just actually get a gel um, this was recommended by her, by Makani. She said that you can actually just get a thick gel and be applying it on your hair. Even a style gel can work. So that's one thing that's really good about it. Um, another thing is that it kind of gets looks better as it grows older, so it looks more natural. And even with this color number thirty three, it still looks it still looks like your own hair. But if you use a natural color like a number two at the front, that's when it's gonna really really look more natural like your hair. Because as you, it gets older, it blends better with your hair. So that's another thing. So if you're trying to have this hairstyle for a longer period of time, it's better off you use a number two, which is a more natural co color or a 1B. Um, another thing about this hair is you need to make sure that you're sleeping in a satin bonnet every single night. To be honest, I think the most tangling and the most freezing, the most freezing um, happens when you're asleep. So when your hair is rubbing on the pillow and it's kind of just um, twisting with each other, it's just better that you get a satin scarf that holds your hair in place so that the next morning your hair doesn't hasn't moved too much. And I found this is a key key thing if you want to keep your hair for long enough, four weeks to six weeks. Honestly, you need to keep your hair up or tied in a satin scarf when you're going to bed. That's actually the number one tip I have for you guys. Um, another thing is don't I haven't used water with my hair synthetic hair is not very good with water so if you're going swimming or if you're washing your hair just know your style won't last as long but um, you can actually use I've been using the can to dry co-wash for my scalp so it's just a spray that is actually supposed to cleanse your scalp and your hair so that's what I've been using for four weeks I haven't washed my hair which is unheard of but I've found that yeah the Cantu product is keeping okay it's, it's helped me quite a bit so I have a video on that product I'll link it down below if you guys are interested um, another thing about this hair is I don't know I, I prefer it shorter than longer because if it's short it's easier to manage to be honest um, when it's long then it's kind of it tangles up easier so that's why I had my hair cut in half and installed in that way and another trick when you're installing the hair you better be sure to um, control the volume of the hair so you don't want your hair to be too puffy because it gets quite hot <coughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> 
it gets quite hot <laughs> especially when it's when the weather is pretty hot so just control the volume have it a very natural balance um, don't have too much hair in the back and then control the amount of hair at the front so that you know you have an overall natural volume what happens with hairdressers most of the time is they feel the back too much and then they feel the front so <laughs> eventually you have a big head of hair which is just not it's not cool I wouldn't advise that you comb this hair because of course if you comb it then it's just too much um, you're aggravating the hair so you create more frizz don't comb the hair don't run your fingers through the hair too much leave it alone as much as you, f you feel like you might want to like break your ha your hands through and detangle the hair that actually makes it worse so just leave it if there's any funny looking ends just snip them off you don't have to literally like you know like your natural hair like try to detangle it just leave it to be sorry i forgot to mention the hair was 900 bob um 900 bob a pack from the super cosmetics in town which might be a bit more than just getting your usual braids so it's up to you if you're feeling like you want to change your hairstyle and you're willing to pay a bit more for a different kind of braid then it's i'd recommend this hair for you um i haven't used the free stress um, of this bohemian type in a while so i'll actually try that out when i find it and i'll let you guys know how it fares compared to this if it can last longer if it's um has a better texture if it does it tangles less or it freezes less i'll let you guys know about that when i find the hair if you know where i can find the hair please let me know i mean i've, I've been looking for free trust for um quite a while so the free trust brazilian bulk i've been looking for that and i've been looking for the bohemian bulk and the Nevada curl. I actually, actually did a video a while back on this hair. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll, link, I'll leave a link and you can just go watch it. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, if you have any more comments or questions, just let me know in the comment box below and I'll reply to all your questions and queries and any other comments that you may have. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.